Okay, um, this is room 4821 at Sandoz Caracol Eco Resort. It's a, uh, uh, it, it is supposed to be a standard room. We got slightly upgraded to, I think, standard deluxe. Uh, we had asked for adjoining rooms with another couple, with my parents, and they weren't able to accommodate us. So mom and dad are um, a couple doors down, but we get a giant tub. So that's the trade-off that I don't think we'd get in a regular standard room. Apologies for the mess. Um, we have a double sink, which is really nice. The kids have decided there's a boy sink and a girl sink. Um, one of the things you don't get with a standard room is a full-length mirror. Uh, but what we've decided is if you stand right there on the edge of the tub, you can see pretty much your whole body. Um, the toilet has a door, but the bath or the shower doesn't. Uh, so that's a little awkward if you've got older kids. Uh, um, you have to sort of send them around the corner while you're showering and getting ready and things like that. Uh, we had some trouble getting the water on. There's a trick online. I can't remember what it is. Turn it all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and then it works fine after that. Uh, the rooms come with uh, shampoo and uh, lotion or something like that. So that's nice. Um, my wife and I were laughing. It's an eco resort, but they give you a giant <laughs> jetted tub in, in the room that works quite well. Uh, you see in the corner we brought bug spray. We haven't had to use it at all. I know some of the reviews online say that you should. Um, but uh, there is dispensers all over and we, we haven't used it at all. We did bring our own shampoo just because. Um, pretty standard stuff. There's a nice large safe there. Really easy to set. Six digit code and hit the pound sign. And it's set and six digit code and pound sign and it opens. Six digit code pound sign and it closes. Um, you see a little surfboard my son got as a gift last night. It's one of those where they do the instant dry spray paint, the quick painting things. Um, one of the things that makes the resort eco as well is they don't have bottled water. They have a water dispenser in your room. It's not super cold but we found it actually kind of handy. Really impressed with the amount of space in the front. Uh, this whole closet uh, room for your shoes and bags right at the front under the water dispenser. And then another big closet as well. Uh, there's an iron board in there, there's an iron. Um, some resorts we've been to have had a scale in the room which is nice for weighing your suitcases uh, or yourself after too many all-you-can-eat buffets. Uh, we haven't, we don't have that here I don't believe. Um, lots of tabletop space as well. There's a giant desk. Uh, the plug-ins are a little rough, or at least in this room. That one's kind of, it's hard to see, but it's kind of uh, cracked. So there's only one outlet and the other one is wide open. Um, charging devices has been okay. There's been a couple times where we've come in and they actually have it right on the back of their TV channel guide where it says, you know, we recommend not leaving your personal electronics um, out but we've actually debated leaving a note saying, we trust you, uh, I'm sure you're just fine. More tabletop space with a little spot for shoes underneath. One of the uh, slightly unfortunate things about this room, we thought we'd get two double beds. Um, that's what, what we expected, what we usually get with traveling with two kids. We had a king size bed, which is great for my wife and I, and a pull-out couch for the kids, which is it's okay. Uh, they haven't found it too lumpy or anything. They've slept well. Um, there is the bed. Again, devices on chargers. Device, device, device. We can't escape that. I should mention the wireless in the rooms. Uh, standard rooms are technically, they don't have internet. Ours has been where we are, 4821. Kind of hit and miss. Um, we've found we had really good connectivity sort of first thing in the morning like 6.37 if we wake up or later at night otherwise the internet seems overloaded. Um, my wife and I are also wondering it seems like if one of us is connected the other one can't connect at all 
We're not sure because you do have to log in with your name and room number the first time you connect. If somehow they only allow one connection per room, that might just be the uh, quirks of the system they have. Uh, lots of storage. There was a little coffee table in front of the couch. We've just left the couch set up all week. TV we haven't turned on too much. There's a couple English channels. Uh, Spanish, of course. Uh, the fridge. Pretty standard stuff. A few beers, a few pops, uh, some snacks we brought from home. And again, even more storage. King size bed is really nice. And then ours happens to overlook uh, some, some, some of the back pathways. Uh, there's some animal, animal enclosures out here. Um, another thing with the standard rooms we've noticed compared to the other rooms, our balcony is incredibly small compared to some of the other places we've been. Like other places we've been, we could fit four, six, or more people. Here you can barely fit two, and there's only two chairs. The chairs are hard, the metal is hot. Uh, we do have a couple extra towels that we can put on there, but uh, yeah. So. Otherwise, that's about it. The standard room, uh, the fan uh, is controlled by a switch by the bed, which is really nice. Um, we had some problem with the fan not going, and we found that if we um, sort of gave it a jump start, almost got it spinning, it would catch. Once we turned it off, it would turn on. There's an air conditioning unit that works really well, and if you leave it on, we'll keep the room cool during the day. Um, the other thing is in the bathroom, the light switch, This just this room, uh, it doesn't just turn, you have to kind of hold it for a sec and push it really far. See, even there. Yeah, and then it kind of catches. So, just a little quirky. Uh, we've gone over to Sandoz Play a Car a couple, couple days of our week, and we'd really recommend that. A uh, way, way, way nicer beach. Nice to try a different Restaurants, nice to try a different resort, and uh, play a card just seems just a little bit nicer and a little more upscale. I don't, I can't remember what the price difference is, but uh, something you might want to check out. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks.